The Raptors still have a small chance at winning this trophy behind me here in Las Vegas at NBA Summer League. For a lot of the roster, it's their first time participating in Summer League, including the 33rd overall draft pick, Christian Coloco. Good. And Coloco responds with the... What has this experience been like for you? It's been really fun, you know, it's been really fun. Just my first time stepping on a basically NBA court, you know, uh, uh, bonding with the guys, uh, you know, competing against the other athletes. And, you know, that's a fun time. And, you know, I, I, I just, I'm just enjoying it. Would you like to now ask a question? A question? Would you, like you guys already something? know what I'm going to say in here. Okay, well, you might He's my friend. Say, yeah. <laughs> another day, another interview hilariously crashed by Justin Champagny, who on Thursday signed a multi-year contract with the Raptors. Eat up, lavish. Earlier in the week at practice, the majority of the Raptors roster, including vet Fred Van Vliet, worked out with the team. The first time that Loco was able to practice with his new teammates. It was amazing, you know, you always dream of stuff like that and it actually happened and we actually play. We play against them and, you know, Freddy took me on the side and he kind of taught me a couple of stuff, you know, and even during the game when he was there, during the game he was talking to me sometimes. So you just feel to have uh, vets like that to just, you know, they, 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 want, they want you to teach you uh, stuff and, you know, I just got to suck it in and just learn from them for sure. The Cameroonian center who played three seasons at the University of Arizona is still waiting to make his highly anticipated first trip to Toronto. I'm definitely going to go there before the end of this month for a couple of days, but I don't know what I'm going to go for, like just there. Well, did any of your teammates offer to be a tour guide for you yet? No, unfortunately. That's oh. sad. Come on, That's sad. That Come on guys. Sad. One thing that Coloco has been getting a little pushback for in the most fun way possible is when he was recently asked if he puts milk in a cereal bowl first or cereal in a bowl first. I put milk first. Yo, bro, he's always trying to be different. He's always trying to be different. Yeah. Pascal Siakam, who's from the same hometown in Cameroon as Coloco, posted this hilarious video shortly after. Now, Christian wants to set the record straight. Let me be clear. <laughs> I, I think I, I, did, I do it because where I'm from, you know, we got powder milk. So you got to okay. make the milk first and then you have to put the cereal after. So that's why I was, I, I was used to growing up. So I just feel like, yeah, I got to make my, 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 my milk first and then I got to put the cereal after. So that's just me. Or, I don't know. When I saw the video of Pascal, I was disappointed, man. I don't know. <laughs> the Raptors play the Miami Heat tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern time and will play again on Sunday. Their opponent and what time their game is at is still to be determined. Reporting for City News from Las Vegas, I'm Lindsay Dunn.